Come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Well, this station's mask. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another mm. episode of Horror with Search 30. I'm your host, Search 30. Today's my guest, Destiny of Lady Destiny Productions. How's it going? Hi, great. <laughs> and where did you say you were from again? I'm from, uh, right now I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and then I'll be moving up to Minneapolis, Minnesota, or two hours away from there. <laughs> That's just, just the, the weather change has to be nuts, like... Uh, yeah, it's way better up here for me than it is in Texas. It's like super hot in Texas. I get like headaches all the time. Even if I'm outside for an hour, I start getting headaches. I'm like, nope, I'm moving. I got to get out of here. <laughs> I don't blame you for that. I, I want to be on the snow. See, I, hate, I hate snow. <gasps> Why? I love snow. Mm -mm. So much fun. <laughs> it be looks like nice. Like. I just, for me, I, if it snows, I wish it would just snow like on the front lawn and in the backyard, and that's it. Because <laughs> I'm like, I have to <clears throat> shovel this shit, <laughs> which is okay here and there. It's cold, it screws up the roads, and people already can't drive when it's beautiful out. Let alone when there's a oh. little when there's a little bit of ice on the ground. Not even oh, much, yeah. a little. And I don't mean like the black ice. I just mean <clears throat> it's crazy. Just mm -hmm. a little ice or a little snow on the ground. People just forget how to drive. I'm just, I, I hate it. But yeah, <laughs> especially when it's rainy. They don't know how to drive. I'm like, why are you driving so fast in the rain? Yeah, it's, you see a lot of car accidents. <laughs> it's like, okay. I love it because I can play in it, and I love snowmobiling. You, you got to try snowmobiling. It's way fun, especially I'll, at nighttime. Let's see. I don't know how I like it or not. I just, I can't, I hate the snow. Like, <laughs> I really do. Like, I feel like the the more the older I get, the more I hate it. Like, I, I loved, it as a kid, loved it as a kid, mainly because of snow days for school. Yeah. And I did actually. You know, what's funny is I worked for the state, and we had since I worked, we had two snow days where they just tell it, nobody <clears throat> can stay home. It's not, and it doesn't count against you. It's not like a holiday. It's just you just get paid for it to stay home. You don't got to take time off. Well, that's nice. But, <laughs> Those other days where I have to travel out in this bullshit. <laughs> That's what I hate it more. <laughs> so let's, you know. Yep. <laughs> it could be worse. Like, I, I'd honestly rather deal with snow than, like, hurricane seasons and all that other shit that I've never dealt with in my life. <laughs> I'm terrified of that. Like, I don't, like, you know, what is it, hurricanes, tornadoes, all that other, all those other natural disasters. I can deal with snow for a few months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I guess we can talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our, our, weather, our weather report is done for the day. Yeah. <laughs> um. So at first, what? So what got you into horror? Or were you were you always a fan of it, or was it something that came? I I was always a fan of it when I was really little. Like my mom was a horror fanatic. She loved. She was more of like the eighty style kind of horror, and. You know, I was born in '80, so of course I'm gonna love it too. <laughs> um, but 
yeah, I just got it from her, and I we just love watching uh, the horror. Like I, I always like the black and white horror kind of style. Um, but I, it, it's always the eighties, like the eighties ones, because it's like it's so much gore. It's like yes. they make up the craziest like kill scenes, craziest like monsters and i'm just like i just love it like my favorite one that i actually like saw with my mom the first one was uh the night the night of the comet and that was like the best like it was like a kind of like it was all zombie there were a little bit different monsters there was zombie but they still were like more human and i really really liked the the story of that and then you got the killer clowns from outer space which was ridiculously cheesiest oh, yeah. most funniest movie ever and i'm like oh my god i just want to make movies like this and then it started like i i did acting i started acting like in 2009 mm-hmm. and then i started doing my own like little skits here and there but i never done like i did a music video that was more like a vampire kind of story oh nice for, um this indie band actually up in Minneapolis called the Throw the Fight, and they were nice enough to let me use one of their songs for this little short, you know, story music video style, and it was really cute. I mean, it was just something I put together and wanted to do, and I always make these goofy skits. Like they're not even serious; they're just like things I just did or wanted to do, and I was yeah. bored. And then <clears throat> I started getting more serious in like writing and editing, like doing everything else except for you know you know because I did acting mm-hmm. I'm on the way, and I'm like well you know I want to start doing my own stuff you know I want to like get myself out there more and have my creative you know creative mind come out <clears throat> and I've done like I used to live in uh, California for three years and all I did was like background work or did speaking parts or or supporting parts but I constantly do, done it because it's all you do there is just work all the time. And so I never got my mind into like writing or working on my own stuff. And I told my uncle who passed away two years ago, he was a, <clears throat> excuse me, he was a, a, a famous UFO investigator. He is the one that discovered the rods. If you have, have time, just look up rods and it, these, these weird things that fly everywhere and they they kind of look like bugs but they're not they're just rods mm-hmm. and they're they're quick they're quick so you can, it's like hard to uh, see it with the eye you have to like take video and then like play around and see if you can see it <clears throat> and uh he uh he was on like ricky lake he was on uh marty what is his name M- murray murray yeah he was on ricky lake murray and I forgot who the other those people back in the 80s were the talk show people. <laughs> and his, his name is Jose Escamilla. And he would just, you know, I told him about the story about Christmas Slasher. Mm-hmm. Like, I had it in my head, but I never done anything, you know, more to it. And that was like six years ago. And he's like, dude, do it. He's like, hey, fucker, do the script. Do the movie. Because this sounds freaking hilarious. Like, this is like awesome and i'm like all right cool so after he passed away i kind of i got to the point where like okay i'm really gonna make this movie and i was gonna make a short film Mm -hmm. and what i did i did uh during that time i did like a little teaser just a goofy teaser about it and it never went anywhere and so after he passed away i was like all right i'm gonna i'm gonna take this serious and make it i want to do it for him and for my mom because my mom it's crazy. Like two years ago, my mom died of breast cancer. That week, my rabbit died. And then I got in a car accident and then my uncle passed away. So I've been through a lot of a emotional roller coaster for the past almost two years now. And so <clears throat> I wrote the script, did like the Indiegogo thing to make the money for the short film. And it did good. Like I, I did get some, like the amount I needed. Um, there was some problems here and there with investors and a couple cast and crew who uh, thought it would be cool just to drop out before we started shooting the next day. So that was awesome. So I had a, a weird, like, because this is like something, my first time, like a big, big thing for me, my first big thing. Yeah. And so I guess it was, it was bound to happen that there was going to be bad mojo, bad people 
and just like not very good start of the of of uh, starting production. And so, um, yeah, I almost like got done filming. Like I almost got done filming a short film, but then all this craziness with uh, COVID nineteen happened, and then looking through the you know the footage. Some mm -hmm. of the footage wasn't very good out in Texas. And the two camera guys that were, you know, supposed to be very prof professional and give me good footage uh, were drinking on set too. So they were drunk. <laughs> drunk on set. And, yeah, just ruined pretty much half of the short film. So I was like, you know what? We're, we're in this weird time. And... I can try to get some work in, save up the money and budget, and why don't I just work on the feature film? Why don't I just do the whole script and then make a feature film? So now we're doing that. <laughs> Everybody's really excited for it. So I was like, let's do it. I had one person say, well, I don't know why you have to do that. You, you were fine with a short film. I'm like, no, I wasn't. I'm like, thank you for supporting me. You're not my friend no more. <laughs> it was like, you didn't even know it support me. You just put me down. Okie dokie. <laughs> Come on, he's like you're not you're not famous. You're not gonna be, you know. He was like you're not gonna be famous. You don't you don't have a lot of money. You know, only famous people or famous directors or whatever uh, get places like that. I'm like, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. That mm -hmm. is not true at all. And okay, thanks for us. Uh, thanks for the support. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> For one, um, you gotta start from like everybody doesn't start from the top. Nobody. Yeah, from the top. no, yeah, exactly. No one starts from the top. I was like, Robert Rodriguez uh, went to these like clinic studies. Like, I didn't know he did it. I'm doing it, but I didn't know he did it. And his first movie, he got it from being a test subject. And look at him now; he's doing great. He's probably still doing clinic studies, whatever. <laughs> you know. So yeah. I'm like, I'm. <laughs> I'm like, no, no one's, yeah, no one for sure stop, starts from the top, you know. I mean, there's people out there who ha are on Netflix, and they have really weird movies out there. And I'm like, okay, I can do that, too. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> so, but, yeah. No, that's cool. I mean, that is a wild roller coaster, but I feel as far as your yeah. thing goes, if everything would have went right with your movie, you wouldn't have felt right about it just because all the things you've been like, yeah, I was from, just from the tragedy that you went through. And then it's like, okay, so this you in your mind, you're like, okay, I just need a break. And then, you know, doing the movie thing and you're looking back at it. Like, I, I'm not really happy with this. No, nope. it wasn't going right. People are quitting, but I, I feel if everything went smooth, you would have a weird feeling. I have just because like I said, you've been through so much stuff and then it's like something bad happens. And it's like, okay, something good happens. Something bad, something good. So with this, with the short film that didn't work, now the long, the you know, the full film will be better than what the short film was. Yeah. And you yeah. are gonna have your doubters always. People always doubt people, and I, know. I don't, I don't understand why. Like, I mean, as far, I don't know if it's a jealousy thing. I don't know if it's just because they don't know anybody that's actually doing it. If it's because they're not doing it, whatever the case may be, I, you can't ever tell somebody not to follow their dreams. I mean, if it's their something they're passionate about support them it, uh, even if you're just saying you know i wish you the best of luck that's support not oh, but, you're gonna be bad at this but. yeah i was like <laughs> dude at least like uh wish me good luck don't like bash me down and say mean things like that and i'm like that's not being a true friend like i just say you know that to go oh my god i was like uh okay <laughs> it's like i was like <laughs> speechless i was like what are you i'm like i thought you were my friend i thought you were like he was so into it and stuff and then he you'll found see, out i'm doing a feature film you'll see it more and more in the in this industry so to speak as far as i'll say as far as the independent industry and that goes yeah me i mean me i know i don't do films i'm an independent podcaster so i don't have <clears> a <throat> network mm -hmm. behind me all i have is my friends and family as far as back and, and fans yeah as far as Sharing my as far as sharing my work and you know all that stuff or watching my show or listening to it, at the mm -hmm. but you will have those people who are just like, oh man, this sucks. This is corn. I'm, and I I haven't had anybody come to me like that, but I'm sure I have a lot of people who listen to my show and don't like it. I don't care either way. I really yeah, because I don't do it for them. Do it for yourself. I you do love it. it. I do it for myself. I do do it for the people who do enjoy my show and listen to mm -hmm. it. But at the end of the day, it is for me because I would do this regardless if I had 
one listener, just myself listening to the show or yeah. a thousand people around <clears throat> or thousands of people or whatever the case may be <clears throat> listening to it. And I just, I think once, once you get to that point of where you stop doing it for yourself or you lose that passion and you're kind of doing something for others to entertain others, specific, specifically for that, I don't mean you don't want people to be entertained by your work, but once you're like, okay, you know what? I don't like my work, but I know the masses will, then it's like, there's no point in even doing it anymore. Yeah. I, no, I rather do it for me. You're doing it for you. Yeah. You're doing it because for you, you're doing it for you. I'm not, but you're also, I understand you're doing it. Part of it's for your mother, part of it's for your uncle, which is different. Mm -hmm. That's a passion thing. They got you into, you know, they got you into Mm -hmm. passion. So that's understandable. That's different. That's like paying homage to them. Yeah. A passion that you love versus like, hey, well, you can use I'll use myself as an example. Say, I don't like your work. I'm someone mm-hmm. that's always bashing you, but then you throw out some some something that's garbage, but because you know I'll like it and the masses will like it. So yeah, like, but you're not doing it for yourself. So just it would be like me and my show changing my show up to <coughs> others that don't listen mm-hmm. to my show or don't like my show. Okay, well here's what you should do with your show, and I'll start watching it or liking it. No, fuck that. I don't care. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, like, I enjoy. It. I have fun on it. My guests come on here and they have fun on it. That's what matters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but they have fun listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you're or not. I really don't. And I would like, I wish I started got, getting more YouTube comments. I get them here and there, mo- which all of them are positive. But like, I've gotten no negative comments. But if I were to get negative comments, I'll just, I wouldn't delete them. I wouldn't comment back. I'll just ignore them. Yeah. Because you will learn with anything oh. when you put something out. A lot of people will do the whole negative thing just for a reaction. Oh, yeah, I, I get that a lot, and I'm just like, man, I don't hear you. I don't see you. I don't see you. <laughs> I don't see you. <laughs> you got to leave it out there. I say just ignore it because there's a yeah. lot. Of, I just listen to interviews and stuff. People people will do that just for you to react and say, like, just to say whatever. And then their main thing is, oh, I just wanted to say hi. I just I just wanted to get your attention. Like, well, just fucking say hi. Yeah, I'm like, like don't, don't, be, don't be negative. But, <laughs> I think the thing is, though, is people naturally, once they see something negative towards them, as far as like their work, they want to go. To, that's what they gravitate towards because that's what really bothers them. That's what really hits them. So then, trolls know this, so they're just gonna, you know, say their little bullshit just to get attention. I'm like, you gotta yeah. ignore that. Yep. Yeah, I do. Because then, I... then they won't. Because then, at, at the other end of it, you have fans who leave you positive messages, and you. It's not that you're ignoring them, but it's just like I don't feel like I have to. Give you. Those. I don't have to give them that energy. I don't have to respond yep. to these negative ones. But it's like if you put that towards the positive fans, it just <clears> makes, <throat> to me it just makes more sense. If you're hating, mm-hmm. I, I really don't care. Now, if you have a constructive criticism, like, hey, here's what I don't like. Maybe you should have done this a little bit different. That's one thing. But it's like, oh, hey, everything you did sucks. I hate everything you do. Oh, okay, well, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thank you for watching and listening. Because you're at least, you know, your one <laughs> is actually helping out. Your negative comment is helping out because there's going to be people who will, who will watch it because they want to bash it. There's going to be people who are going to watch it just to say, like, it can't be that bad or whatever. And, hey, either way, you're helping me out. Yep. Keep it up, please. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, I, yeah, I'm like that, too. I just, like, I just avoid those because you don't need to have your energy and negativity. No, you, and, don't. Uh, you don't need that. So, yeah, I've I've – been there <laughs> i'm still there kind of but i'm I just like okay bye you know you don't have to support me and that's cool i think the worst part of it honestly not not necessarily the fans that part i don't care as far as if you like it or not because i get it it's, everything's not for everybody yeah it's more so when it's like you're which excuse me i haven't had this issue yet as far as not do you burping i, I, <laughs> I can't still it's still in there <laughs> You'll get it. Like, <laughs> other podcasters, directors, actresses, it, it sucks when they start bashing each other because they had a falling <clears> out <throat> because something didn't work. Like, say, a movie didn't work. <clears throat> bash that team. I'm like, if it didn't work, just keep it behind closed doors. It didn't work. You don't have to post it on social media that this person sucks, this, that, and the third. Yep. This person's an asshole because you two had a falling out. Unless it's, I mean, mm-hmm. if it's something really, really, really serious and egregious, I get it. Put it out there, but. If it's something that's not that big of a deal, a movie fell apart for whatever reason, keep it behind closed doors. Keep it between you and your team or you and that person and just leave it at that. Don't work together. Because it, it's it's so funny because it's it's a and it's grown ass adults. It's not like it's, you know, seventeen, eighteen year olds, nineteen year olds, even up to like twenty two years old. It's just like 
people in their thirties and forties arguing over these things, making these yeah. <laughs> crazy posts, like just bashing the hell out of somebody, and then two weeks later, they're best friends again. But this is why, if I ever, I've never had a fallen out with my best friend, but if I ever, if me and him ever, we've mm. or we've argued before, of course, but that's not going mm. on. That's not going to social media. That's not going to the world. And when you mm. have your arguments with certain people or with just, in, I'm like, why? That doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. This makes you look bad and unprofessional and stupid when you guys are hugging the very next week. Like, oh, this is my BFF forever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> last week. Now you're best friends. Oh, sh- yeah. I, I, I. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want some people to apologize and not please. It's, it's so dumb. It was so dumb how but, that yeah. situation happened. I'm <laughs> tricking on my set and ruining my footage. What's going to happen is once yeah. the, once they see the work you put out, then they're mm-hmm. going to oh, man, we really fucked up. Like, we really – Oh, no, I know they did. They did, for real. It's just dumb. You but know. Uh, I got better people. There you go. I want to make it better. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm happy about that. It's good to go through that stuff though from here and there cuz you you live you live it, you learn you learn about a lot, you learn about people a lot. You learn about then you'll Ooh. learn certain signs like Yep. With the ne- with the next bunch with the next group you bring in, mm. you'll learn like okay, this person drinks a lot. I don't think I want to work. I'll ask them if they can control it cuz there's people that drink or they can control it like hey, look. When we're recording, don't drink. If you want to drink, you know, the, tonight fine just don't wake up with a hangover and you can't do your job yep and certain attitudes certain things there's certain people who just feel they're the best shit in the world so you have to like bow down to them and i'm like i don't that's not how oh I was. oh i had yeah <laughs> i had a couple uh male people like that and i'm like no not working with you <laughs> like i don't like your attitude that's too cockiness right there <laughs> you may deal with that with with guys at times that I don't know what it is, but I think some might be afraid of females with power or in power, you know, because it's your production. Yeah. And they feel they can still kind of just be the guy, like, oh, just walking over a fe- not walking over physically, but like walking over, like, oh, she'll just bow down, like, yeah, I'm the guy, I'm going to run this. Like, man, it's not even your show. You're not even, no. a, first, oh. you're not even a lead actor. You're just here to sweep. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Like, I had so many of that during this. Christmas last year, and I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm like, who's paying you? Who's giving you money? Hello? Who's who, who's the director here? Come on. Yeah, I have I had all that problems. I don't understand people. I don't know how they why they act like that or think that's okay to act like that. Some just feel they're entitled to everything, I guess, and yeah. some you just got to put in your place. Like, oh, this uh, is yeah, my production. This is my show. Uh, yeah. I asked you to be on here. If you want to be on here and be professional, cool. If not, there's the door. Yep. Find yep. Be quick. Yeah. <laughs> but people will. <clears throat> people are. Um, they're weird because there's some that really do want to see you succeed. There's a lot that really want to see people succeed. Then there's others mm-hmm. who just want to see people succeed to an extent until it exceeds them. Then it's like, yeah. Oh no, this this can't work. This can't. Work. <laughs> they can't be doing better than me. Me, I'm the complete opposite. I'm like, I want to. I want everybody, as long as it's not harming anybody or anything, I want everybody to be success, successful in their passion and their dreams. Why not? It's yeah. Not, it's not bothering me at all. Mm-hmm. It makes it, as a matter of fact, it makes it easier because not, people are happier. If they're successful. Yeah. <laughs> they really believe and they're happier. They're not being assholes as much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love to see people exceed and do something that they love and are passionate about. I love that. And I'm happy that the people that are still with me want to see that. And I want to see them yeah. achieve so much more than than anything. Yeah, of course. I'm like, oh, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm really happy that they're on board with this, and they're like super excited for it. And I'm like, I I, I feel happy. <laughs> I feel happy that I'm doing something and giving everybody a chance that they need, that they, you know, that people see over them. And I I hate that. I'm like. Well, you're all talented people. I want to see you guys achieve. You know, I want to, I want to see you guys go somewhere after this. I want to see this go somewhere with all of you in it. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, do you have any <clears throat> other um, scripts written up for another film, or are you just focus on? Uh, it? Yeah, I have. Uh, let's see. Let's see, I have this one, which is going to be a feature film. I have. Uh, I just dreamt about this like a couple months ago. It's called uh, Blood Snow, and I want to do 
I want to make it into a novel, novel first, sell it as a novel, a book, mm -hmm. and and then make it into a a, a movie. I have a, a artist who's working on the cover, and then a poster for it, and it was cool because I had this dream about, um, yeah, I think he saw it with Joe uh, that it was like a snow, but it's kind of like a it's called watermelon and snow, and it's a, a real thing. It's like a real algae. And you can't eat it because you do die from it because it's toxic. Yeah, because I, I come. I remember I said watermelon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're really like saying watermelon well, snow. <laughs> take us out because I love watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I had I had this weird dream about it, and so I was like, I woke up and I'm like, I want to make this. <laughs> this is awesome. It's like a horror sci-fi. So it's gonna be like you know, scientists, you know, discovering this new species of whatever algae, but they mutate. You know, mm -hmm. they mutated to these to these to turn people into like invisible monster kind of thing. So I was like, dude, this is kind of like cross from the mist and the frog, the fog, which I think the fog were they monsters or ghosts? I forgot. I don't remember. I know because I know the mist and the fog. They're kind of, but they're different backstory. One of them is about ghosts, and the other one's about some kind of weird flying monsters. Mm -hmm. I think. And I was like, well, it's kind of like that, but it's snow, and and it's a real algae. Yeah. That's, that's making mutate and make you know the humans monsters turn them into monsters, like a zombie kind of thing, but they're invisible. I was like, ooh, I like that. <laughs> so I'm starting that out this month too. So after I'm done with, because I have like 30 pages of Christmas slasher, and I'll just keep adding on to it. And I'm like, there you go. There's my feature film. And I worked on the novel, and then um, I have one more script. It's a – no, no, wait, do I have two? I have two. Sorry. I have, No, just kidding. I have four now. <laughs> I'm like, I have four feature films now. Um, one is uh, To the End of the Road. That's more of an action-packed film. Mm -hmm. um, it has to do with the, um, the secretary – defense. wait, what is it? The secretary of defense's daughter going on a trip, and she's kind of um, – in a weird hit, um, hostage situation, but they're like driving in a desert road. So you got these these terrorists who are like following her through the whole thing. And if like if the dad doesn't like give them the you know the nukes or stuff like that, they're gonna kill her and whoever else is on the road. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a joyride. You have Mad Max and um, Kidnap. Have you seen Kidnap with uh, Holly Berry? Is it kidnap? It's really good. Yeah, it's really she, good. She's like a um. She, she her her uh, she kid. Huh? Did she answer nine one one calls in this movie? Oh no, not that one. Um, it's a different one where she's um <laughs> like huh? <laughs> she's the she's the uh, the mom that's chasing down the kidnapper. Uh, I think he was a. Uh, it's about um. God, what is it called? It, it's like human trafficking. Okay. And her kid gets kidnapped. So she's chasing down these guys that kidnapped her kid through the whole movie. And it's super good. Like, I really love the camera guy who, like, work, works on it. Like, I actually want – if I could make good money, I would love to hire him to be – to do the – to the end of the road because the camera angles are awesome. Mm. But, yeah, it's called Kidnap, and it has Holly Berry. You have to see it. It's really good. It's really scary. Well, it's not, like, scary, scary, but it's, like, kind of like a thriller kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's really good. And at the end, it's really weird. It's like really twisty at the end. But yeah, it's like it's kind of like a human tra trafficking kind of style film of Holly, uh, Her uh, Holly Berry. God, I can't speak. I'm all like all ingested <laughs> or like all stuffy from whatever the heck is in the air. <laughs> so I'm like, hi guys. <laughs> My nose is all. Weird. I sound. Do I sound weird? Because I can't tell. One of my nose is all like you. What was I saying now? <laughs> oh, the Holly Berry movie. Yeah, yeah, because it's kind of mixed like with that Mad Max Joyride. There's another movie that has to do with like on the road action pack, but it's 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 yeah, it's all action packed through the whole thing. High tech guns, weapons, high tech cars and vehicles. They go off roading. They like have weapons on them and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going all we're going all out on this one. <laughs> And then the last one is a cross for Red Sonia and Conan the Barbarian, 80s style. It's like a mythological um, adventure kind of movie with the 
you know, magic and, and sorcery and stuff like that. But it's, uh, it's the goddess, I forget, Lu- Lupi, Lupa, I forget how you say her name, but she's the god, goddess that um, trains Debbie gods and stuff. She's a wolf. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've ever heard of her. And there's never, like, there's nothing a lot about her. Like, just like, oh, she just helps Debbie gods become awesome. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, shoot, let's make some, you know, let's make a backstory about, you know, this one god wolf. And so the backstory is, like, she has babies. And they're, you know, half humans, half wolf. And there's a evil god that's, like, obsessive over her. Because she's pretty, you know. She's a pretty wolf, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and... So he's like, it's so super obsessed with her. And he finds out that she got pregnant. She has pups. And it just made him mad because like he wants her for himself. So what he does is he goes after her and just almost massacre all of her pups. And she has like one, which is a female one. And she um, like wash, like washes her memories away. So she won't remember who she is or anything when she's grown up. Mm-hmm. So it's just like a, it's like a venture of like Hercules, Red Sonia, and Conan, and, and but she's a female, she's a wolf, and she's half god, and well, you know, demigod, and it's just like follows her adventures through, you know, her journey of uh, saving people, killing bad things, and uh, being chased down by a sorcerer who he now falls in love with her, or the god who falls in love with her now, and you know, there's some twists and turns there, but yeah, I want to finished working on that but those are all my scripts <laughs> you know i already finished two on the road i gotta finish um this one which is that's s-a-r-i-t-a sarata i can't say her name right sarata the barbarian wolf i gotta finish that one. Oh, nice yep i'm almost done with that but yeah like maybe 60 percent i'm done with all the scripts <laughs> just gotta finish the rest <clears throat> you keep keeping busy that's good yeah, I, I, well, I'm happy that I'll be in this uh, thing this whole month, so I'll, I'll finish up those two, well, finish up Christmas Slasher script, and then work on the novel, and then uh, this year, we'll finish the other one, because I, I already finished To the End of the Road, I want to try to start filming that next year, too. Nice. So, yeah. Now, do you have, do you know when you want the Christmas <clears throat> Slasher to come out, or is that... Um, well, since we have this crazy time, <laughs> the virus, I was, uh, wanting, I was almost, well, I was almost done, but since this all happened, we had to stop production. I got a burp. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> See, there he goes. <laughs> um, we were almost done, but then, you know, this really weird blessing in disguise. It's really weird, but it is a weird blessing in disguise. And I decided to make the feature film and saw like looking at the footage, I wasn't very happy with it. So I was like, yeah, I'm make a, I'm going to make it feature. I want to, I want to see if I can get it somewhere. Like I have good, amazing friends who know people in the, you know, Netflix and stuff like that. And they're like, Hey, when you're done, let's see, if we can get it to Netflix. I'm like, all right, thanks. I love you. Cool. <laughs> and, um, where was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was thinking of shooting in of this year to like next year during springtime because Texas, I, I film in Texas too and I film up here. Mm-hmm. So there's some outside scenes and it's too cold. <laughs> and I want to make sure my cast and crew are okay, okay. And I don't want them to freeze and stuff like that. So it's like, okay, let's just like move in next year for Texas. You know, we already have pretty much everything ready to go. It's just we need to, like, <clears throat> sign the into the production film. Or what is it? Uh, Texas Community. Pro- what is it called? They emailed me saying, like, hey, if you're going to film, you know, in Texas, you got to do all the priority paperwork and stuff that because of the, you know, coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Corona. Whatever. Whatever virus. And the <laughs> COVID-19 virus. And... <clears throat> I already have like assistant director for this month. Like I'm gonna send her everything so she get ready to go for um, minute, minute up here in, in Texas. But Texas is gonna be next year in the springtime, and then this year is is up here because it's all snow. I want okay. snow in some of the scenes. Well, we were gonna like, get everything ready. You know, what I mean, like the short film was gonna be done this year, but 
since this happened, and then I decided to do the feature film. So it might show, I don't know, uh, probably next year. Uh, we would have something ready to go. I am, I do have a teaser getting worked on, which I got to contact him later to see what he's doing. It's been mm -hmm. a while. <laughs> I'm like, hey, how's the teaser going, buddy? But yeah, I have a teaser, hopefully getting finished in a, this month or something. So I have something. I have something. <laughs> good. No, that's good, though. Yeah. That is but yeah, but I, yeah uh, the end of this year, we'll start filming again, get back into filming, and hopefully be released next Christmas, uh, 2021. So, yeah. Great. That'd be awesome. I'm looking forward. I know. I am excited, too. Like, they, like, my clay animator, he's, like, working on Rudolph and the Elf, and I got a little, like, peek to, of Rudolph, and he looks so cool because he's all clay animated. Mm -hmm. You watch Evil Dead, right? You watch, and, and then uh, the clowns, so they're all clay animated, and it looks so cool, and I'm like, I want an 80s style kind of. That's how awesome. it looks like in the evil dead and all that so it's like hey i'm excited because <laughs> awesome. they had like the skeleton guys on there and then like kind of like um what was that what's that one old movie i like is it tech on titans what's that one? Oh my gosh i forgot oh uh clash of the titans clash of the titans where they're all clay animated so that that's so cool i'm like i can't wait <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. You sound excited, though. That's that's good. And I mean, yes, <laughs> I'm excited. Very positive outlook on everything, which is also great. yes. I'm like, I'm like, I got yeah. I'm super stoked. Hey, light. <laughs> hey, get back on. <laughs> the light just turned on. <laughs> light. It's a ghost that turned me off. The heck, dude. Wait, I'll be right back. No, I'm good. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. He didn't, he didn't disappear. <laughs> I disappeared. <laughs> but no, yeah, I'm really, really excited. I, I'm, I'm seeing everybody's getting, you know, things ready to go. Um, the monsters are looking really good. I know my puppet. Well, he's a, hey, he's kind of like a puppet. He's just a head of a Rudolph. He needs to get a uh, makeover and then another makeover because <laughs> he's a uh, all bl well. His blood and all the stuff is coming apart, so I got to get him refixed again. But yeah, he's uh, he's looking really good. Rudolph looks really scary and awesome. Like, and then I can't wait to see what the elf looks like. I drew, I drew the elf, so he can like clay animate him. And he's like, yeah. he's just a little guy. He's a tiny little guy, <laughs> and he has a a pepper. What is it? Peppermint? What is it called? Uh, Candy cane. Peppermint? Candy cane. He has a candy cane, but it's like a little knife. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. So he just like stabs people in the foot. Because <laughs> he's so tiny. So I'm like really excited. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. That's going to be a fun, <laughs> funny movie. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm the type of person, like I love, I love holiday horror movies. I also love um, <clears throat> comedy horror. That's mm -hmm. one of my, Dark. it's not my, I'm not going to say it's my favorite. Slash was my favorite. <clears throat> I, I can, I love a good comedy horror where it's good gory but funny and just over the top all that craziness going on yeah yeah and i'm like i want it all over the top just crazy sick death scenes and just just dark humor i'm like we got to do this we need to make this movie happen <laughs> so yeah i'm really excited mm -hmm. i'm super excited <laughs> some of the scenes we did up here was ridiculous it was so much fun it was so awesome I like any more of this. <laughs> I cannot wait to finish. Like, I cannot wait to make, like, you know, to do the filming and then, like, see it come to life. I'm like, oh, my God. So excited. I, I, like, I, I can't wait to see at least, like, like you're saying you're doing a te teaser. I, I can't wait to yep. see a teaser. I can't wait. To Me too. I can't wait. I'm, like, freaking out. <laughs> I want to see the teaser. Because <laughs> I gave them as, like, much as I can that was usable, that can work and stuff. So I'm seeing if it's, like, because the... So, like I said, some of the scenes uh, were not very good. They had, uh, what do they call, a uh, time frame on it. So it was like, well, that's all trash. <laughs> and it was sad because I flew people in. And yeah. it, it, and that day was just ridiculously was bad. Everything was just bad that day. I was so mad. I was like, okie dokie. <laughs> Never again I'm going to pick people that 
don't have anything to back. Oh, nope. I'm just going to make sure everyone. I'm going to do, like, back checks and stuff on them so, like, this won't happen again. Um, but you learn from something, though. So, I guess that's the – I mean, it sucks because it's time and money, but you learn, yeah. you learn a lot. I have have I had a lot of learning experience from this during this time, and that was good. I, I learned – I learned a lot and I'm, I was very blessed to have the people come on board, even mm-hmm. they, the horror icons come on board and they helped me out too. Cause I have like, I have a uh, learning disability speech disorder. I have a whole bunch of stuff wrong with me. <laughs> and, and sometimes I don't know much or I, I, I can't like, uh, it doesn't register right away or I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. And so they, they, uh, they helped me, they helped me, they, they helped me out a lot. And I appreciate that a lot. Cause it, it, it does get hard for me. Like I get really, really frustrated and, and I get overwhelmed mm-hmm. and we had, we had some troubles with, uh, communication. And that was the only problem with some people was to communicate, you know, uh, miscommunicating, uh, no one. Every, no one got to me all together. They were like all separate with things mm-hmm. and that it just like it, they start <laughs> blaming me on it. And I'm like, no, you guys are not talking to each other. You guys are like over here not giving those people information. Yeah. And, you know, it was just really hard communicating with everybody. And I'm like, oh, my God, we need to like and I have good friends my my fa- they're my family so they know me they know about my problems and stuff and so they they were helping me out uh with them and saying you know like yeah this is what's the problem is like you guys didn't communicate with me you went with everybody else you know saying this and that and it's not it wasn't the right answer you know <laughs> yeah so I was like okay that's what what was happening but um <clears throat> like budget wise everything was Great. I had a feeling some people weren't going to be 100% on with me because I found out about them during the time I was filming. So it was too late to like, oh, shoot, what am I going to do? Should I just tell them, no, get out of here? Like, don't come near me with your mojo, yeah. pro- your, your bad energy and stuff. But, I mean, it was nice that they gave me some of the money, but ever like I, during that time i saw other people talk about those people and they had screenshots of evidence that they weren't very good mm-hmm. and i was like oh shoot so i don't know what to do so i was like okay okay i need to talk to somebody who's very close to me who can help me and you know we help each other out so yeah i was very lucky to have somebody on board right away who was actually in the movie too and they helped me uh, invest in the movie so I was really happy and you know later on of course we talked about paying off and stuff oh, like yeah. that so so that that turned out really great like I, I had a feeling this guy wasn't gonna be really good because of what I saw all the evidence in so like oh shoot I need a back I need a plan B I need a backup plan and it worked perfectly um, I just didn't understand like money wise like uh, like uh, how do you say it um, what is another word? Um, what, you know, uh, what, oh gosh, what was it? Hold on, let me call myself. I'm like, Ugh. Um, what the terms mean uh, for different, like, uh, payment wise, I guess you can say. Mm-hmm. Like, what's, uh, what's, what's that word? Um, how people get paid, I guess. How people get paid and how, uh, what the what it meant uh for some of the words the, the different payment words i didn't understand any of that i didn't know what it was well i wasn't the only one there was also someone who was supposed to know all this they didn't know that either so i was like i need somebody who knows what they're talking about and doing so yeah. that kind of got goofed up with all the communication and stuff like that mm-hmm. and then they just blew it out of the water which made no sense so i was like Okay, we get. I had to have a meeting. I had to have talk with people because <laughs> they weren't. They didn't. They were getting everything wrong. They mm-hmm. didn't know what they were talking about. They goofed me up, and then we had, like I said, some people had mute, miscommunications. So it everything kind of went all over the place. But we fixed it, and it was great. That because I said the horror icons helped me out a lot, and they helped me get everything 
you know, right. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh my God, it was crazy. <laughs> it was just like, it was this money problem, but it worked out to the end. It like, it was good. I, I had a plan P, a P, P, plan P was P, plan B. <laughs> On the list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. I it was good. I was like, I I did it fast. I got it. I was good. Just a lot of miscommunication. No one knew what they were talking about, but it was all good. <laughs> that's all I mean, out. That's that's good though, because it's I, like I said, it's good to. I mean, it sucks when you have to go through certain things, but it's good to go through them if you take the positive out because you learn. Yeah. You learn so much more from a negative situation than you do from a positive situation because yeah. yeah. if everything goes right. Yep. You could be fucking up so many different things and not even realize it because everything's going so smooth. Yeah. But if everything goes wrong, you're just like, okay, well, everything's going wrong. I can kind of see what I know what's going on now. Like I, I, I have yeah. a better understanding of what's going on. I have yeah. the right team around me. They know what's going on. Now we know what to look for. Yep. Not just yep. with people, just in general. And then yep. it's like, wait, now this, this, now I'm good. Yeah, that's why I was like, it was a learning experience, and I was happy that things didn't turn out right at the very beginning because if it was it, like in the middle or the end, oh shoot, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I would do, you know? Yeah. Like, oh shoot, <laughs> like what happened? But I was really happy and it just started in the very beginning and and I seen some things go like bad. Like I see I like, oh shoot, I have to do I need to figure out stuff. And so I got a hold of people and I'm like, hey, I need some help. You want to be in it? Do you want to help me out? And I'll pay you back later. They're like, yeah, hell yeah. I want to see. That's why I was really blessed to have all these amazing, good people in my life. My cast, my crew, you know, my friends, um, people that I was on set before. Like, I'm happy that I had these people who, you know, I love so much. And they're like my family anyways. And they're out here helping me out. Yeah. So I was, I was very blessed to have those still. <laughs> Always good. <laughs> yeah, That's and then these amazing horror icons, Miss Phil- you know, Miss Rose, uh, Nicholas, Nikki, um, Lloyd. You know, I-, I have never met Lloyd in person, but he was like, you know, him and his uh, agent was da- or manager was were down to help me with no high cost, <laughs> and then they worked on the scenes without, you know, they're like, hey, we got two scenes for you. One I did for you. The green screen and then you have the green screen i'm like oh man you didn't need to do that he's like no i wanted to do it whatever you need i'm there i'm like awesome. that's amazing like the people you don't even know will just like okay i'll help i'm like yeah. what <laughs> and i appreciate those people who helped me get get their information and the people who who gave me like um you know gave me the information to to contact these people so i appreciate that guys i appreciate everybody and I'm like, everybody's going to get a shirt for free. Here's a shirt. There's a shirt. You get a shirt. <laughs> you got a poster. So, like, I made more shirts so I can give those who did a, an amazing job and just helping me without, mm-hmm. you know, having anything, not wanting anything in return. Just like, hey, just get a, you know, let's just make movies. I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, let's just make movies. That's all I want. I'm like, all right, let's do that. No, so I, I got goodies for people just who helped me out, you know. That's good. Uh, That's good. Because it shows you appreciate their help. It shows you yeah, I, I, you're doing I, I, something, you know, give say, hey, here's a shirt for the movie. Yeah, like, here's some things. Because I told people, like, I'll give you some goodies for helping me out because I don't know what to do. I mean, this is my thank you. Here's a shirt, you know, here's a poster. Yeah. So I'm really happy about that. I know I have a lot of stuff to do uh, in August. I have to go, I have to drive back to Texas to get the shirts, to get the posters. And then just drop them off to, because I, I did the Indiegogo too, so I have backers that want their stuff. Finally getting all that because the COVID-19 closed out all the businesses, you know, shirt mm-hmm. business. But my Mr. Clay animator does everything. <laughs> so he's like, oh, I can do the shirts. I'm like, bro, okay, let's do this. So That's I gave him money to, to, you know, do the shirts and stuff. And then I'll just travel and drop them off. Or I'm, I'm kind of worried I'm not doing the post office thing now because – Ever since this all happened, they took they taking forever to drop stuff off or give us our stuff. Mm-hmm. It took like a month. I returned something, and it took a month for them to actually get it. And I'm like, oh, I don't think I want to do that. I'll probably just like here, I'm here. Here's your shirt and poster. You know, yeah. a personal hey greetings, guys. <laughs> what if it's not a fate though? Like, what if it's 
further than Texas. Okay, well, then I'll just send it to them. <laughs> I just said, I mean, dang it. Why can't I just visit? <laughs> now, can, I, I don't, do I have anybody that's out of USA that? Not, I, no, I just mean Never. like, say, for, for example, somebody on the East Coast or. Just, I'll go. I know people in Florida. I could stay with them. <laughs> like, like, we just drive down to Florida. Yeah. Like, a, hey, you know, I got <laughs> someone doing a free tattoo for me there. So, hey, you know, it's not a waste. It's not a waste. <laughs> now, can, um, can people still get the Indiegogo? Can people still back the Indiegogo or is it done? Uh, that one's done. I'm not going to do any more Indiegogo for that kind of stuff. It was really like, well, it wasn't hard because I had people to help me. Mm -hmm. But it was just like. To me, it was just a waste of my time because I was doing it, and I just didn't want to. Don't I didn't want to do it no more. I was like, oh, it's too would, much. <laughs> as far because well, because you are you have a lot on your plate, so you would just yeah. need somebody that you can trust if you were to do it. I'm like, <laughs> listen, I need you to run this Indiegogo, please. Yeah, I I I uh, would would have somebody that I trust to do it. I mean, I did have somebody who helped me start on it. But, but you need somebody that can just do the like. Listen, I need me. you to just control this for me. That's yeah. Like, that you yeah. want to help me if you can. Yep. Really, I mean, this is something that could be a huge help. <clears throat> yeah, I can. I that I can for sure now since I I've known more people. Yeah. I can probably do it. You know, just pay. I'm like, here, here's some money. Go do do it. Do it. Go go. <laughs> well, I, I was asking that for people who would still want to be able to. If they're still able. Uh, wow. But, uh, but, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> if, they're still, if they're still able to get a shirt or oh. a poster or anything, yeah, I've I'm trying to figure that out on Facebook, but it's like the guy has to give me a link to that page for them to order. But I don't I don't know where where it's going with that now. <laughs> I'm like I don't know, so I'm just like, okay, well, why don't I, why don't I just uh, have because I repost it. I posted like, hey, if you want a shirt, it's twenty five dollars, and you get a free poster. Or if you want a poster, it's $10. Let me know. Just DM me, and we can uh, meet up. Because uh, I have people in L.A. who actually want to buy it. So I'm meeting up with them like that and doing it that way. And, you know, I'm I'm still trying to figure out, like, okay, do how do I do this? How do I just have them order online? Yeah. Because he was, like, trying to – I think he was trying to get his sister to figure that out. Mm -hmm. But we haven't gone far with that yet. He hasn't done the shirts yet, so I'm. I know he's gonna do them in a like they're gonna be done end of this month, and then in August I'll have them ready to go. Okay. So I just, I just, uh, I'm just gonna tell people if you want one, just let me know, and I'll meet up with you. Because mm -hmm. I don't know how the ordering online through Facebook. Because I see, I know you can do it on Facebook. Like I went to the Christmas Slasher page, and mm -hmm. I see that you can actually, you know, have them buy stuff through there. But you have to have a link. And I asked them, like, do you have a link where they can just buy it or do we need to figure out another way? So we're just we're working on that right now because I have no idea how to do any of that. Even if you didn't have a link, mm. so you guys had the stuff in stock at your homes. Another yep. And I can just have them like, hey, you want one? You just meet yeah, up. Message you and either yep. meet up or just mail it. Like, look, I'm going to mail it out. I can't promise you how long it's going to take yeah. to get there. I'm like, yeah, because that's what we were having issues with tracking. was how long it was going to take. And then all the businesses were closed that make stuff because mm -hmm. of COVID-19 because there's other people who are trying to help me do that. But their peeps are closed down or they're just like closed, closed because of the COVID-19. Yeah. And then – he was doing so much for me anyways with the clay monsters. He's like, I need to make some money. So why don't we just like figure out the shirt problem? I'm like, Oh, okay. And then there you go. There you go. He has money for him. And then he's making shirts for me. Cause I, I, I try not to get everybody to do so much. Like you don't have to do so much for me. I appreciate some, people it. Don't, some people don't mind it though. And I mean, yeah. especially around now where they're just like, <clears throat> all right, Especially if you're, home, you're home from like the ones more so like <clears throat> I'm home from work. I am getting paid yeah. to stay yeah. home. It's beautiful. Yeah. But <laughs> it, it gets boring. Like it gets boring <clears throat> to a point where yeah. it's like, okay, like I need something to do. It's so, like for me, what I've been doing to fill out my time a lot is podcasting a fuck ton more. I, mm -hmm. I've done about 40 episodes since this thing started, I believe. Yeah. Oh, cool. So <laughs> there's that. But then again, <clears throat> not everybody has podcasts. So it's like, People just want to do something. I'm like, okay, if I can just do yeah. making shirts, cool. And yeah. it's a good now's a good time to practice have something like that. Like 
get you know if you have all the equipment buying the equipment if you have if you don't have it already yep. and just yep. practicing making these shirts and hey eventually make a yeah. profit off it yep yep so i'm really i'm i'm really excited for that i'm really excited to see what they they look like in personally mm -hmm. but yeah i i'm happy that people are already wanting to buy the shirts so i was like oh all right let's just do it this way uh we'll meet up you buy the shirt and i get cash from you cool and that's all gonna go to you know uh the feature film christmas yeah. last year well that's like all right cool because i told him like let's make 200 so if somebody wants to buy and support there you go i have i have enough right there and then, you know, of course, my cast and crew gets one for free. Mm -hmm. um, the people who help me uh, get these people, you know, our icons will get one for free, too. That's awesome. Um, and then you, I got posters. They can buy a poster for 10. Um, I'm still finishing on getting them all autographed. So that's why I need to go back to Texas. I don't even know why. Well, I got to go back anyways to get the shirts. So I'm just like, oh, wait, never mind. I still have to go back anyways because I have to get the shirts and the posters. And then drive all the way everywhere. Like, here's your guys' stuff. Will your autograph be on these posters, too? Yes. Yep. Everybody will get get. Everybody has uh, their name on it, except for one actor. who That's why I have to go to L.A. so he can start um, autographing all of them before I start, you know, giving them out to people. And they're like, there was like 250. There are 250 of them. And half are done. And I'm like, shoot, maybe I should just have everybody sign all of them. <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> Not bad. So, I don't yeah. know. Dollars for a poster with all those autographs. <clears throat> pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. I have I have everybody sign it. All the cast, especially the ones you know that have little parts. I have them signed too. I love to have make sure everybody has a special something treasure. You know. No, I get it. I'm. Y yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I go to home, <clears throat> sometimes I'll when I can, if I see like someone that's selling their independent movie, I'll buy those movies. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And have them sign it, and they seem so surprised. <laughs> like they were like, "You really want my autograph?" I'm like, you, Aww, you, yeah. You you were in this movie or directly You had something to do with this movie, so yeah. Yeah, of course you. You better sign. <laughs> I joke around with people now. I'm like, look, don't ever let me be in a horror movie. I'm telling you right damn now. If I'm like, say, if I'm at a booth and they're selling movies that I was in, everything's signed. If you want to sign it, like before, <laughs> before you even. <laughs> <laughs> like, air. You were in the movie for like two seconds. I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get. You're gonna sign. I'm like, but I didn't say anything. I'm like, no, you're still gonna sign. <laughs> I don't care. This is like a big thing for me, and I want you guys to feel the same too. To be in something really awesome. I'm like, even if you have like one word or or nothing at all, you're signing a damn poster. <laughs> yeah, sign a poster. <laughs> but that, that's that's cool though. And tw you said 25 for a shirt, and you get a poster with it? Yep. Yeah, I thought I would do that way, too, because, you know, I, 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 you get something. I want, I yeah. want you no, guys to have, like, something on the side, too. That's good. All, the, all, that's good. all the craziness that's going on, especially I had other uh, product, like, goodies with with Christmas last year, and the, the Packers, the Packers, what are they called? Packers? Packers. <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, there was like other things that were included with it, but I don't want to give them out yet until after the movie has been okay. somewhere because uh, some of it was a DVD or the download of it. And then there's uh, trading cards, which have okay. death, death scenes on it. Oh, so I, yeah, yeah. I, would, I wanted to do something different. I was like, dude, trading cards with like awesome. everybody that died in different ways. You know, that, I thought that would be cool, like creepy and cool. I seen I seen a couple of people do like uh, they're like cards, but they're like I think they're like uh, stills, like pretty stills. Mm -hmm. But I was like, oh, I want trading cards. I think that'd be cool. But I want to wait afterwards because, of course, they're death scenes, and I don't want them like sharing that anywhere yet. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Like I want them to see the movie. I want people to see the movie. Then you get your trading cards, or maybe I'll do a NDA. Is it NDA? NDA or where you, you don't. You can't show it. Don't show these because then you're gonna get in trouble. Because I don't want anybody leak leaking out. Leaking, Too early. Leaking. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You, you know. Another <laughs> thing you could do is mm. maybe I'm just here's an idea: mm -hmm. putting them with like with the DVDs or the Blu-rays, just putting them in the. Oh, in, that's in, a good in, idea. That way, when you give you're it smart. out, you're they, smart. They'll, they'll see the card, but they're not gonna see it. They're only gonna see it if they get the actual hard copy of the movie. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Thank you. That's a good idea. Write that down, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Summer.
Write it out. Write it out. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's that's perfect. That's a good idea. <laughs> Because I, I don't want like oh, I don't want them like leaking this out leaking. I don't know what the heck the word I'm talking about. No, I know what you mean. You know, you're you're right. Where people just kind of spoil it, which yeah, and I don't want. That. And they don't. They're not necessarily doing it in a disrespectful way. It's just like I, I cool. Like me, I do like unboxing videos on my YouTube channel, so it's like cool. Mm -hmm. I just got this cool horror item, and if they're showing off mm -hmm. the card before the movie's out, then you're just like, oh man, you know how this person dies and all this stuff. But yeah, yeah. Once yeah. you buy the movie, once you open the case, you see it. Fine. You got Cool. And then, like, I'll have, like, you're back on now. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then there'll be, like, maybe 10, but you don't know which 10 you'll have. So you have to, like, collect them all. So yeah. that'd be great. That's awesome. Yeah, I would say. Good idea. Yeah, maybe after the that. movie comes out, once it's out for a little mm -hmm. bit, then maybe sell the cards so you can collect, so people can collect them. Or Yeah. There'll, there'll be other, I'm sure you other ways to get them out to people. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that, that's a good idea, yeah. Because I know, like, once it's, like, shown somewhere and then it released the DVDs and then I'll have, like, special edition cards in there, the trading cards. All right, that's cool, yeah. Duh, Destiny. That's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. Because <laughs> I'm like, how am I going to do this? <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> duh. Yeah. Shoot. No, nice. Jeez. Sometimes you have so much, so much going on. It's just like that one idea. Just like, okay. <laughs> That's why I'm so happy. I have somebody to be my my sis, my assistant director to mm -hmm. do like everything else. Because I did, I was doing everything like casting calls, auditions, um, getting locations, and then trying to find a nice place for them to stay. Oh my god, I had <laughs> these hotels I picked. I thought they were great because I, you know, read the reviews and stuff, but I guess I didn't go all the way down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there was, like, rooms that had bugs in them. Oh. But they didn't tell me. I wish they did. Well, they did now tell me afterwards, but I was like, really? I could have gotten you guys another rooms or another hotel. Mm -hmm. But, I, I, like, like, like you said, like, there was way too much for me to do. And I'm like, yeah. you know what? I'm going to make sure somebody gets nicer hotels. <laughs> I have nothing because they were nice but I yeah there was like yeah it was bad bad crap it's just bad I was like oh my god but again I mean you learned a lot from that experience so now you know like <clears throat> for one you can't take on nobody can do everything you can't take on everything yeah. you need a good team around you especially with something like yeah. that yeah like, okay this look this is your job this is what you do 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 yep yeah, and then you got to manage them to make sure they're doing this, and I still have yeah. to make sure that you're all doing. I still have to make sure you're all doing your job plus this. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's easier if you have people that you like mm. responsible people that you couldn't trust. Like, hey, listen, I can you be the one that makes sure the hotel not only you know book the whole room, book the rooms, maybe go check out the rooms, make sure they're nice, make sure they're clean, check the reviews. Yeah, like check I just everything. Need you to at Everything. a fair price too. Like I don't, I it it can't be ridiculously priced. It's not super cheap, but you want. To yes. Add, yeah. 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 Like, uh, enough that it freaking has good like five star review. Just so for places because it had like some of the hotels were five star reviews. So that was like, oh okay, they're good rooms. All right, cool. And then like the first time, they were not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then stupid me went to find uh for the next shoots the same freaking street a different hotel and i'm like i feel like this these rooms are going to be gross you know because of that room that hotel being gross and on the same street so we actually went it looked nice everything was nice we even looked at the 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 rooms nothing nothing and then one person said that there was a bug in their room and i'm like Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to hire someone to do yeah. this way better than me. And, and but, it's yeah. kind of, kind of bug. Like, if it's like roaches and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, cool. Well, that's one thing. But if it's like a moth flew in your room, like, okay, man, you, you can't be that damn picky. And it was, it was little ants. They were just ants. And I guess one room had a, cig a cigarette. Like, they didn't vacuum. Like, they put everything behind the bed. Oh. And I'm like, why did you go all, like, it, well, actually, it was like, I guess between... Um, like the wall and the bed, and they saw cigarettes, and I'm like, oh well, well that's kind of gross, but uh, okay. <laughs> and then yeah, there was like ants, there were little ants in the bed, and I'm like, uh, all right, well, let's just get you another room or something. Yeah. Or well, he just left. I don't know, but it was like really. Oh my god. 
okay, got to find a better hotel. Next time around, it'll be better because you learn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Time, yeah. You know what to look for. <clears throat> or you'll have the right team surrounding you as far as helping. Yeah. You. Yeah. Because, like, the Duluth area was great. Like, oh, the rooms were good and stuff like that. Like, because I didn't do it, somebody else went and did all that. So that was taken care of with somebody else. But when I do it, oh, I miss up. <laughs> stuff so that's why i'm like i'm gonna have somebody else do all this <laughs> i can't do it myself it's smart though because you have so much you you have so much to do plus you're directing the movie so it's like i, I gotta direct this movie plus everything else on this like, like no i need you know i need a group of maybe five to ten people i don't know how many people i'm just throwing that number out there so yeah yeah five <laughs> people everybody has one to two jobs and mm -hmm. that's it. you and once you're done with this if you can help the person here but always make sure your stuff is done and done correct and then you know yeah make it a and team. also being the lead in it was like okay i really need to like have other people do stuff because i need to act i need to get like my character going mm -hmm. and it sucks when i was doing everything else i was like i don't i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it so that's why i'm kind of happy i'm starting all over on everything and mm -hmm. just bringing more people on board to help like maybe direct it why i act and then you know yeah. go from there because it was it was way too much for me i'm like this is ridiculous i gotta get more people on here because i want to make a, a good movie i want to get make sure all my actors are you know doing their character right and especially me but i'm over here freaking <laughs> trying to make sure they're all doing what they got they're doing and yeah. then i'm i'm not even focused on my character so i'm like oh no i need to just trash all this get more people on here and start over again so that's that's why i'm happy i'm getting rid of the footage in texas and then just starting all over again that's good I, it's, it'll, mm -hmm. it'll be worth it when it's oh all yeah happening. i'm happy <laughs> i'm happy i was like yes more people to help me i'm so happy <laughs> now oh, as, far, really? as far as the um <clears throat> the dvds go <clears throat> people who didn't back the movie <clears throat> will they still be able to get it like myself for example i'd be able to get a copy of it and other um, things yeah yeah oh um, you know, pay for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sure. I'm not, I'm not yeah. But no, as far as like ordering, can they mm. order it or once the movie's out, order it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll have like, I might just have like, uh, I might just do the website, like a, 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 the that one free website where I just like work on it, make it. I'm probably going to do it this month just to get it all ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then have them order through there, still figuring okay. out like yeah, because I know I know some website have that like the movie sites where mm -hmm. you can just order there, order products and stuff. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so it'd be easier on us and it'd be easier on you know the people who want to buy it and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah, for sure, everyone will will try to get a or you know get a copy, even the ones that. Uh, backed it up they'll get their free copies and stuff like that that's yeah. awesome that's awesome yep. that's good yep. just want to make sure that it goes somewhere and then you know but yep. yeah we we will have a, a website christmas slasher its own movies page <clears throat> awesome. on there so yeah <laughs> it's exciting though like I, i'm always excited about when a fan film comes out i i enjoy them when i get to watch them when i get to yep. them back then. Yep. <laughs> another fun I, fan film to check out yeah i'm like really really excited just to like get it going again it's like oh i want to start filming but i want to wait until well i gotta wait because winter time and mm -hmm. i want to wait because of covid19 and i get everything ready to go and then since I'm, I, you know, since I'm doing the feature film, so yeah, I have plenty of time to get that going, and then go from there. You yeah. know, I like Texas. Uh, everything's ready to go in Texas. Um, I know. Well, I, when I get back to Texas in August, I have to give my makeup artist a monster so she can re fix them up and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then just waiting for people to, because some people also got in bad car accidents or something bad happened oh, wow. and they're like they're like freaking out because they want to feel they want to be helping out with christmas last year and i'm like no oh, you got plenty of time to heal don't worry about it yeah, don't, rush. <laughs> we, don't, don't rush we're not rushing this time we're not gonna we're not gonna get anything done until end of the year or next year so don't worry about it we'll just start getting you know the the you know the christmas last year movie page up start getting shirts and st like all that stuff ready to go Mm -hmm. So if people want to buy pre-order, 
Well, I guess, yeah, do, like, the pre-order, like, DVD kind of thing, and and I'm working on the, the trading cards and stuff. So, yeah, we've got plenty of time to get things ready to go That's and good. then start filming. So <clears throat> I, I am really excited. I'm really excited. You should be. You should. I am. <laughs> I get overexcited, and I'm like, okay, tired. <laughs> I want to nap now. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, for sure. So everyone will, like – well, there's there will be a way to get the DVD, order the DVD, um, get that those trading cards. I have uh, I have a company in California that will work on the trading cards. You know, I'll design it and then send it over, and they'll start printing them out. Hopefully, they're open. I gotta call them because like some places are not open because of what's going on. Yeah. So I gotta I need to call them this week to see if they're. They're still, I'm, I'm hoping they're still open. I, I still, I hope they're not like business out of business. Like, no, I need you guys. Cause they're really sweet. They know me. They know what I do. Mm -hmm. They're like, I'm They're. I guess like they're, every time I go in, they're like, you're, you're our biggest like actress. You know, we're your biggest fans. <laughs> like whatever you need, you get a discount. You get a discount. I'm like, thanks guys. Cause I go there all the time for my headshots and stuff. And, you know, every time I'm there, they're like, what, what are you doing now? What movie are you in? And I think they're going to be super stoked to find out that I'm doing a feature film on my own. <laughs> so okay. I hope they're, I hope they're still open. Please, God, please, please, because they're like the best things. They're, they help me out a lot and they're so sweet. Those guys are so sweet. So I hope they stay open because of all this. I know some businesses are closed and it's kind of sad because of all yeah. that, what's going on. Yeah, no, they, <clears throat> it's, it's more so the, the like the small businesses. Yeah. Yeah, when they because some of them aren't going to recover from this versus like a no. Walmart that's not going to. Yeah. Not hurting Walmart really, not mm -hmm. as bad. Mm -hmm. But I want to call. Uh, I know uh, they're not open on Monday, so I'm gonna call Tuesday and fingers crossed that they're still open. Because oh. I really like these guys a lot, and I want to have my business with them. That's good though. These cards, yeah. That's awesome. Because they, they're, they're, they always, half the time they give me my stuff for free. They're like, no, don't worry about it. I'm like, guys, they're like, no, we love you. You're such a cool person. And you're, you're like an actress. <laughs> We're your fans. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> like, oh, thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. So That's I awesome. want them to have my business. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. But yeah. But so what, yeah. Else have, what else do you have going on <clears throat> just in general? Do you, is there anything else you do? Um, I actually have two other feature films I am uh I got hired on. Um one was supposed to be in August and I'm waiting for him to cuz he he didn't tell I forgot what days I was supposed to be needed. I know it was like a a whole two weeks of filming I think. I play like a vampire chick and it, it's also another Christmas horror. Um, it has to do with Santa Claus turning into a vampire. <laughs> and I'm like one of the bad vampire girls. So that's that. And then I have another uh, horror film in September. I play a henchman for a, a demon girl, I think. Yeah. And I'm excited for that one because that has like well known people on it. Um, that's That's in September. That's pretty much two weeks filming there too. So okay. I have, yeah, I have two horror feature films I got booked on, which I'm really excited to work on because I'm bored. <laughs> like I want to get back on set, but I'm like freaking out over it because you know this. But mm -hmm. I know they're gonna, ha they, ha everybody has to have, you know, cautious, cautious protocol and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> now that we have more like paperwork we have to do because of that. So that's 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 good. Um, and then I got a couple of photo shoots on the side. I do modeling. That's like my hobby. I do like creations, like different themes and stuff. I have a couple. I have like three things I'm, I'm doing. Like there's one. It's a native because I'm Native American. There's one that I I need to find a Native American dress for. And then uh, it's called the the. The jingle dress? No, no, no. What's it called? Jing jingle? The healing dress. It's called a healing dress, but they have like a uh, bell. It's not, yeah, it's kind of like bells. Mm -hmm. So when you're dancing, it makes the noises and stuff. So that's another project I'm doing a healing dance. 
And then the third one is just like a business kind of wear for, um, and what I do is this, I, I, the people that take pictures of me, like we do these, you know, photos mm. shoots, I submit them to magazines. Cause you know, that's what I do. I was like, I want to submit them to things because I like to have help people, uh, show more of their work, you know, exposure yeah. and stuff like that. So that's like three photo shoots. One is a dance video for the healing dress. So a couple little projects on the side that I do that, that are like my hobbies. No, that's cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. I love it. I like, I like, you know, sometimes I'll hire a makeup artist to fix me up because I don't know how to do my own makeup or hair. <laughs> I'm a wild person. I just, I don't do nothing. I just like, I need somebody to do, make me pretty, <laughs> do my hair and makeup because I don't know how to do it myself. <laughs> But yeah, I, I just, uh, those are my projects on the sides that I love doing on, on my own, you know, hobbies. Mm-hmm. And then I, I think that's it, you know, photo shoots, video dance, video, um, the two movies, and then waiting to do mine. And I think that's it for now. That's there was a, yeah, there was a couple like additions I did and we're st- I'm still waiting on a yes or no on one for a TV show. Okay. I'm hoping I want to get. Because of all this that's happening, I know they're kind of still looking through the video uh, editions. Yeah. And <clears throat> just waiting to see. Because I was like, man, I did really good on mine. I hope I get it. But we'll see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. You know. Just I mean, you're staying okay. busy as much as you can. With oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I want to. I'm like, I keep trying. I'm like, the whole... The whole time that we were, you know, on lockdown, stay at home thing, I was just pushing Christmas slasher out, and I just did a, a photo shoot, you know, social distancing photo shoot. Got that into a couple of magazines, you know, one magazine, and then, yeah, just uh, just waiting afterwards. Like I told everybody, like, hey, we're just uh, we're gonna push the photo shoots to like August, cause I'm up here trying to get some work in, and and then I, you know taking care of my body <laughs> i gotta lose some weight and then we'll start doing some other stuff but yeah that's that, that's that's what i've been doing just doing that oh my god <laughs> so that's like my neck huh <laughs> i thought you were dancing i wasn't sure no my neck's cracking i because that car accident two years ago oh. i got surgery done in december and they cut me open right here and put a disc in me and so it's like it hurts sometimes. It's such a pain in the butt, and I pop. My neck starts popping. It's not really good. <laughs> so it's gonna take a while for me to heal. Which sucks because I miss dancing. I love dancing, but it just is like hurting me. Oh, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Got hit by a company truck. Ooh. So dumb, and it was so sad because it was like in a traffic. We were all standing still in traffic, and this dude just came, not paying attention, and just hit me. Like, there's people that were, like, dry, like go, trying to get away from him because they see him coming really fast. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, there's nowhere for me to go. Where am I going to move to? Like, there's a van in front of me that had kids in it. I'm like, I'm going to get hit because there's babies in behind. There's babies, you know, in the back. And I'm like, if I move, those babies are going to probably going to get the worst. Than what I got, mm-hmm. so I was like, I'm just gonna stay still and let it hit me. So yeah, I'm in this like weird court thing, where, yep. So, kind of upset. <laughs> yeah, that sucks, but you'll get you'll get past that part too. Yeah, it's just gonna take a while for me like to heal my neck and the CBD oils and CBD stuff is like really helping me out a lot too with that. Oh, yeah, I know that stuff works well. No, yes, it does. <laughs> it sucks because, like, I can't get no massage or anything yet because of all this, you know, the COVID thing. So, it's like, uh So, waiting for that to, like, I don't know, oh. die down so I can go back to therapy. It hurts. <laughs> I guess we can <clears throat> it, get ready, you know, end the show. If you have anything you want to plug, you could do that, and then we'll close off. What was it? Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess we can kind of end the show now. Okay. If there's anything, you, if there's anything you want to plug, like your links or anything you want to say for people, to go oh. play, you can right here. And then yeah. once the show comes out, I'll have the links in the description. Okay, cool. And I, I got you. I got, I gave you everything. 
Yeah, you sent it to me through an email. Through yep. email actually. Yep. I don't think I gave you my Christmas slasher movie page. I'll do that too. Okay. I'll just do that. Um, but yeah, they can find me on Twitter, Instagram. It's Twitter is uh, Destiny Soria One, mm-hmm. Soria S O R I A. People are like, "How do you spell your middle last name?" <laughs> and then Instagram is uh, Destiny Soria together. And the last name is S O R I A. And then I have my Christmas slasher, the movie on Instagram, and then face Facebook is Christmas slasher. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's easy. I think that's easy, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so everybody go follow her. As you can see, she's a very fun person. <laughs> passion for what she's doing and all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'm all over the place. You can't miss me. I'm over there. I'm there. <laughs> you, you do do a lot, which I think is cool, though. I mean, <laughs> you direct, you. you act, you're a model, and mm-hmm. you just do so much, which I keep yourself busy, which is probably good for you physically and mentally. Mentally, oh, yeah. you, especially around this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I, and I'm, yeah, I'm editing. I do my own editing on my photos. I do my own editing. Like for this one, I'm not because I don't want to. I just want somebody else to do it. <laughs> I got too much going on, <laughs> and I can't. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I just, you know, someone, you know, they, they agreed. They wanted to do it. They wanted to do the trailer, so I was really happy about that. Like, yeah, go ahead, do the trailer. I don't mind. And I mean, as far as what you do, <clears throat> all the stuff you do on your own it's good because you know how to do so many different things so it's like I mm-hmm. yeah. you don't I, have I, to rely on people yes it makes it easier when you have a team oh. that can do all these things but you don't have to really yeah. say well <clears throat> I can't get this part of my movie done because I don't know how to do this and yeah. I can't you know but now it's like I do know how to do this but I do have somebody on my team that knows how to do this as well yeah a little bit better than I can I mean I've been learning on youtube and stuff i don't i don't i don't go to school for like the film Mm -hmm. side but i did for acting you know still go to coach coaches and stuff like that but i learned from youtube is editing films and photos so i was like that's really easy (laughs) adobe it's amazing (laughs) little simple editing i do it's yeah learning from and i can still learn a hell of a lot more it's just it's a matter of when I want to sit down and just like watch it. <clears throat> I do a lot more with what mm-hmm. I, which I will eventually. But I'm like, you know, yeah. what? I just want to get stuff out there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Help and others. And then, well, like um, the the Lady Destiny production, the animation little <laughs> intro. I did that all by myself, but I had somebody help me with the audio because some of the audio was very like crappy. <laughs> yeah. So he fixed it up for me or made a new one. But yeah, it was like. I did that all on YouTube. Like, hmm. Yeah, you just YouTube. You can learn. It's, it's yeah, a, it's very very freaking useful. You learn mm-hmm. how to do anything from oh yeah, <laughs> learning how to produce a film to fixing a car. <laughs> yes, yes. That's like that's why I love YouTube. And they're like, let's let's fix the car. So you do that, <laughs> which is awesome. Yep. <laughs> but I do want to thank you. I will ask you just if you could stay around for a couple of minutes after we're done recording. Mm-hmm. But I do want to thank you for coming on. Greatly appreciate it. Had an awesome time. Yeah. And I see you on the Any Last Words podcast, which is another awesome horror podcast. And I was mm-hmm. like, this girl is funny and her energy is cool. <laughs> I was and so she, hyper that night. <laughs> you, were doing like a, um, you were talking about your indie movie. I'm like, it's an indie mm-hmm. horror movie. So yep. for me. <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing is, is <clears throat> Joe from you know Any Last Words, she reached out to me on her Any Last Words page and was like, hey, you should reach out to destiny and get her on your show because she's indie horror and i was like it's yeah. funny you say that because i I'm already i'm already in the work i'm, a, I'm there i'm there because <laughs> I, I do try to get as far, uh-huh. I mean, as far as horror goes i try to get anybody on like whether it be another horror fan come out to review a horror movie with me or yeah. anyone from the indie scene mm-hmm. i try to get them on just give them another i might not have the biggest platform in the world but it gives them a platform my listeners will go check them out yeah. Hopefully, their followers will check out the podcast and just kind of go from there and help each other out. Help each other. Yeah, you're you're, you're you're climbing the ladder together. You know, yeah. we all both are getting exposure and stuff like that, and that's what I love to do too. And I, I, anyone, I enjoy <laughs> doing it. Though. Like I enjoy doing mm-hmm. I the podcast as far as just with me and my friends and family. You know, a couple of cousins, <clears> just that reviewing movies, and then it, yeah, it grew eventually to more to what it is now, and I still enjoy it since how I did from day one, probably even more because, you know, it grows more. You just kind of enjoy, you mm-hmm. enjoy more, learn, meeting new people and just learning new things. Mm-hmm. I love it. And, yeah, mm-hmm. so thank you again for coming on. 
It was Thank fun. you for having me. I know me too. Thank you for having me. I had so much fun. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have you on again at some oh. point. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> but yes, everybody go follow her everywhere. Mm -hmm. And as far as me, I have a Facebook group, which you can feel free to share anything and everything horror related, including yourself, your own okay. process. As long as okay. it's horror related, it's cool. I have a Facebook page that's, wow, specifically for the podcast. <laughs> where before I would post, like the videos that I do, I post them both in the group and on my podcast mm -hmm. page. I'm just going to start putting it, focusing that more on the podcast page and keeping the group kind of just like random horror stuff and let people put stuff on there. Mm -hmm. I will put my random videos here and there in the group still. Mm -hmm. But podcast videos are all going on, you know, my podcast page, mm -hmm. YouTube channel, Horror Research 30. Um, what else do I have? Damn. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I have, oh, a Twitch channel. I do game every now and then. I have it in a couple of weeks, but I will get back to that eventually. But horror mm -hmm. underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. And that's just me and some friends or my brothers drinking and smoking and gaming. And <laughs> oh, nice. Cool. <laughs> whatever we're talking about is what we're talking about. Well, 90% of the time I am playing a horror game though when I'm streaming. Oh, dude. Did you play uh, Outlast yet? I did not. You need to play that. Okay, like it, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. It's so scary. Every time I play it at night, I have nightmares, and I'm still like, I'm gonna keep playing it. <laughs> it's so addicting, and if I have nightmares, it, that's how it's like good it is. Outlast, yeah, okay. it's really good. I have to look into that. Yep, it's the best. Oh my god, the <laughs> last one, I don't know. Oh, and I heard they're making new ones, so I'm like really excited. Outlast. I'm like, yes, more, make more. It's really good. <laughs> I think the last one was like a cult, a cult one. A cult, a cult one, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. It was okay. It wasn't. It's not my cup of tea, but like the first, what was it? The first and second one are really good. It's like in the abandoned house, and they're like really weird, monstrous, crazy people. Yeah. A lot of nudity in it. Dicks everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> You're not <laughs> selling <laughs> <you're not laughs> <you're not laughs> But they're oh. scary. You're like ew. <laughs> you but gotta they're... play it. It's really good. <laughs> I get nightmares from it. I'm like, oh my god, it's so scary, but let's do it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's... Oh man. Look at the sticks everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that 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 doesn't sell it for me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to play it though. <laughs> it's really good. It's scary. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but I think that's all my social medias. And then mm -hmm. if you ever want to be on the podcast, just shoot me an email, mm -hmm. horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. Again, that's horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. And you want to review a movie or your indie horror, you want to talk about your projects, come on here and have a good time. Cool. Thank you again for coming on. Yeah, thank you. And as always, I'll see you.